So Foreman is a tool chain manager in Roblox that allows you to install a bunch of different like command line applications like Roho, Remodel, Tarmac, and Selene. So you've already seen me use Roho with the VS Code plugin, but Foreman allows you get, to get the command line version, which is a little bit better, as well as Remodel. Remodel is amazing. It is crazy. It allows you to do so much stuff and fully automatically as well. I'll make a video on Remodel in the future. Tarmac is also pretty cool, and Selene's a pretty cool linter. And so, Foreman allows you to give give you all of these tools, and it's sort of like Node Package Manager or NPM if you ever heard of that. But instead of just packages, it's just straight up tools, and it gives you like a one central location to use all of them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to get up and running using Foreman. So in order to install Foreman, you're first going to want to go to the GitHub repository, which I will link in the description. And then on the right hand side, you have your releases. I'm on version 1.0.2. I'm going to click that. It doesn't really matter what version you have. It should be the same process. Then you want to go to Foreman Win64. If you're on Windows, I don't know how to help you if you're not on Windows because that's the only device I have. So I'm going to save this to my downloads folder, then open this up. So I'm in the folder. You can see you have an executable. I'm going to first extract all. So right click extract all. And then I'm going to send this to program files because it's a program. And then I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking going to new folder. And you're going to have to have administrator access on your device in order to do this. Oh, whoops, there's too many new folders. You can see there I have to have administrator device ad privileges to delete it. And if you don't, you can just put it in documents, no worries. But the rest of the process will be a little bit different. So I'm going to name this folder Foreman. Save that. And then make sure it's highlighted, then press select folder. And then I can extract it. And here we go. So the foreman.exe is now in my program files foreman. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the executable. And Microsoft is yelling at me. But we know it's secure. It's coming from Roblox. So we can run it. Nothing happens. But what, what it'll do if everything's set up correctly and it should do this, is if you go to users, my user, then, like, whatever your name is, and then we go look around, and you can see there's a dot foreman folder. There's some stuff in here. We'll deal with that a little bit later. This shows you that it's installed correctly, and you can access that through there. So that's all the file management done for the most part. I'm just going to leave these open. But now, nothing will really happen. You can't access it through the command line. So we're going to go to my command prop and type in Foreman. Nothing happens. So we need to add Foreman as an environment variable to path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Windows key and start typing environment. And you can see this thing called pops up. It says edit environment variables for your account. Here we go. And then I'm going to go down to path. Select edit. And then I want to add two things to the path. So I'm going to click new. And we're just going to press browse so we don't have to actually enter in the path itself. And then we can go to local disk, program files, then to foreman. And click OK. So that adds the Foreman directory to our path. So this will allow us to access Foreman from the command line. And then now we want to add, create a new, and go browse. We want to add the dot Foreman slash bin folder because that's where the areas will be to run specific commands from the installed tools like Roho or Selene or Tarmac or Remodel. So let's go to 
once again, users, your name, and then down to foreman, then to bin, and then click OK. And so that should do it. Click OK on all the dialogs. And now let's test it. So I'm going to type in the Windows key, type command to bring up the command prompt, or CMD. And I'm going to press Enter. And we're going to type in Foreman. And you can see it tells us what version we have. It's basically help. So now we can like list the stuff that we have. So we don't have any installed tools right now, so it won't do anything. So let's install a tool. Let me go back to the file explorer, to the .foreman directory, then to the foreman.toml. We want to open this up. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code for this. You can use whatever you want. You can even use like Notepad or something. Let me just bring this over. So let me just bring it over. And you can see it's a standard .tombo file. So you don't really need to know the syntax. All you need to know is you need to have brackets, tools, and then all the tools that you need. So every repository that you'll come by that can be used by Foreman will show you the specific syntax for the source and the version. You can see right now it conveniently already has a Roho here. And these little hashtags specify a comment, just like Python. So I'm going to get rid of the comment. And this is kind of outdated, so I'm going to change my version to 6.1.0. Save that. Make sure it's saved. And then now I can go back to the command line and type in foreman install. And what this command does is all it does is it goes to the foreman.toml and installs all of the tools there. And now we can check to see if Roho is actually installed by typing in Roho. And you can see it has everything there for you to use. And you can do this with all of the supported tools for Foreman. It's really, really nice. And this allows you to keep everything centralized, only add two variables to path, because if you install everything together, you'll have to add all of them to path manually. And that's not really good. You want to keep it nice and simple. And so, honestly, the main benefit of using Foreman, in my opinion, is access to like Remodel and all of the other tools in the same exact spot. Because Roho, you can obviously get alone. And some of the other tools just aren't that useful. But Remodel, it's insanely good. I will make a video on that next. I will have to show you how good it is and what things it can, get, can do. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Foreman and all of the help it can give you when developing advanced top-level Roblox games. In fact, the person who created Foreman worked for Adopt Me originally, and now he works for Roblox and works on these projects like Foreman or Roho in his spare time. You can see him right here. He is, okay, let me go back. LPG hat guy. He's pretty cool. He has a ton of stuff, and he's just a great developer for the Roblox community. But other than that, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more Roblox tool videos for advanced development. So I hope you have a nice day, and goodbye.